Night's falling. To the bed. I'm gonna need more than just a beauty rest game. <laughs> Shots fired at myself. Shit, that would been all. How's everything going for everyone else today? We're gonna stream a little bit early today. Just because we've got, uh, well, I'll be honest, I just don't know when I'm going to get back tonight. And I'd rather not risk it. Come on. There we go. Squish. Oh, he died to fall damage. Sad, but kind of hilarious, too. I want to get squished. You want to come at me, you little shits? Kill you in one swing. And now we're down to the teeny tiny ones. That can't do shit. You thought you were tough, little slimes. Oh, well, we're... Almost done with this, luckily enough. But we're pretty much down to bedrock. Squish. Squish, squish. I want super squish. God damn, these little shits just keep coming. Come on, dickhead. Squish all of you. Ow. S surprise attack, eh? Your surprise attack was not enough. You have been squished too. I have also collected over a stack of slime. Fucking hell, that's a lot. Boop, 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 boop. This is so fucking convenient. Just look at it go. Almost done. We've got pretty much what's left of this layer, and then one more layer, because we're at height of six. It's like we might be able to get a little bit more squeezed out of the next two sections, but there's not gonna be a lot. There's gonna be a last solid layer without bedrock. There we go. Hey, more diamonds. Dope. Excellent. Pull that off. Excellent. 
at this point, I'm just kind of like not bothering to what's it called? Mine pretty much anything but uh, diamonds at the same level because otherwise this hammer will just plow through it. It's like why why bother? Eh, emeralds are okay to grab too. Hey, four emeralds. Excellent. Yeah. It's been a pretty good source of diamonds. Got almost two stacks worth out of it. We've got certainly gotten a ton of other resources out of it too. Shit. Damn it. Give me that. We need more food soon. Oh well, that can be taken care of in a moment. I've got more food upstairs. This is almost done though. Excellent. Got double drops on that again. Well, actually, not double, but quad drops. Which is fucking excellent. Come on, Cole. Oop. That one was not so lucky, but still, nine for three is not a bad deal. Okay, inventory is completely full up. Gonna have to uh, replace that in a little while. Actually, we're gonna have to replace this entire staircase soon with uh, stone bricks. But I'll do that as I get to it. I haven't designed the layout of the stairs I want to use yet. I haven't got any gold yet, nor lapis. Yeah, definitely got some coal. Redstone. Oh yeah. Diamonds. Stack and a half. That's looking fine. Put these up. Uh, what else am I looking for? That's clay. Oh, we hit a stack of flint. Unexpected, but not unpleasant. Good shit right there. Well, it's not the most useful. At the very least, I can make an ass load of lighters out of it. go. We're almost full up on fucking cobblestone. Which I did foresee, but didn't quite think it'd be as big of a deal. I don't know if I'll actually max out or not, but we could. Now let's grab some more food from the bento box. That'll definitely help. That's not the bento box. This is the bento box. Sweet. I like keeping a shulker box full of food. Never know when you're gonna need a metric fuck ton of food out in the wild.
And having extra is better than having not enough. Come here, you giant slime shitheads. Ooh, we got doubles. Got a double hit on me. Congratulations, it only took two of you. Fuck nuggets. Okay, I'm time set. I'm not dealing with it right now. I'm on. Get smushed, you son of a bitch. I'm gonna get some gold soon. Dope. And a nice load more slime balls. Even better. Hey, Okami. Hey, Raven. Pretty much, this has become slime craft. Kill them all. Come here, you little... Hammer, boop, 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 boop. And there we go. Another strip done. Oh good, more red snow. Even better. What are you up to today, Raven? It's been a couple days since I played some Minecraft, so I was like, you know, let's play some. Doop. Boop, boop, boop. There we go. Well, that's a lot of resources. <laughs> hey, nothing wrong with mass murder as long as they're evil. That's the rule of the land. You could you could kill everything as long as it's evil. Okay. Dick, 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 dick. We're at level six now. Eh, usually committing acts that would be deemed uh, immoral by the, the standard of rational people. You know, people who just kill for no reason, rapists, you know, that sort of fucked up shit. Anything that would get you put on an evil alignment in D&D. Pretty much. <laughs> At least in my books. Well, yes, evil is very much a subjective term. I think it's pretty easy to tell when you should and shouldn't be doing something. You know, like you probably shouldn't be murdering other people. Probably shouldn't be raping other people. Probably shouldn't be stealing other people's shit. You know, that sort of stuff. Holy shit, look at that pile of loot. Yeah. Hey, 
Hey, it's free real estate. You just gotta slaughter a few do a few thousand people to take it. But yeah. Also, wasn't there multiple groups though? Like that landed in different places and they had, they had, well, different, um, well, different interactions, we should say. Some were friendly, some were not so friendly. Either way, it ain't my problem. That's one thing people don't seem to get, though, is it, it happened like fucking four or five hundred years ago. If you're gonna hold a grudge over something that's literally ha didn't happen to you nor anyone in your relative bloodline within like the last few hundred years, it's probably time to let it go. Oh, shit, we're full. It's like, you can't hold on to something forever or else it's gonna, you know, it's gonna be one of those things that just keeps... Yeah, fair point. But yeah, if people hold on to it forever, it's just one of those things that prevents people from ever truly getting along and working together, you know what I'm saying? It's like, I especially hate people who are like, oh, you must pay for what your ancestors did. It's like, why? Why would I be punished? I didn't do it. I didn't have any fucking say in the matter. <laughs> it's like I wouldn't have done that shit, but you know. You can't really blame me for something someone else did that could possibly be related to me several hundred years ago. That's just some dumb shit right there. But you know how people are sins of the father, sins of the father and whatnot. I mean, there's no such thing as reverse racism, because it's just fucking racism. Yeah. Being discriminatory against anyone for being their race, for just shit they can't control, uh, like, you know, their skin color, is just racism. Fair and simple, but people don't like to hear that. Hell, I don't even think my ancestors... I'm not sure where my ancestors... Like, some of them were from Kentucky, but... I'm pretty sure the others uh, immigrated over from Europe uh, later on. Uh, but I'm not entirely certain. Because, you know, I haven't really seen any ancestry shit. And most of the people I'd ask are now dead, so yeah. 
Oh well. And I'm not paying for one of those Ancestry websites like Ancestry.com because I don't give that much of a shit. So, oh well. But yeah, there's that. What's it called? Actually, I did see something funny like going on about Mitch McConnell. And like, I don't give a shit about the man, but it's like, oh, the reason why he opposes slave reparations is because his, his ancestor 160 years ago owned slaves. And that clearly must mean he supported it. It's like, that or he just doesn't see the point in fucking making reparations for something that no one who's alive ever endured. But people are fucking ridiculous. It's even worse when they're like, oh, well, you're white. You obviously can't say anything about the situation either. It's like, well, fuck you too, asshole. Squish goes the loot. How do we always end up on politics? Like, I don't even like politics, but we always seem to end up on them. Especially on Minecraft. I guess Minecraft's one of those games that just... That we get on lots of random topics. Hey, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. That's an emerald. Loot. Man, which time period? Because I'm pretty sure the Italians have been shit on a lot. Squish. Holy shit, look at all these emeralds I keep finding. Well, that was not a good deal. The worst deal in the history of deals ever. Yes! Yes I can! <laughs> By looking straight up. As long as it's around noon in game, I can see the sun. It, because unlike a lot of real life my quarries, it doesn't slope downwards restricting the light. It's a straight down hole. Boop. A little bit more gold. No lapis right on that run, but more redstone's good. Definitely more emeralds. Let's go drop off the supplies that I just picked up. That should be enough for now. Diorite. And one last thing of andesite. Good. Okay. Let's go fix up this fucking hole in the ground. Fearable. 
Yeah, that's another thing people seem to forget, though, is just depend... It's like, oh, you look white? That means... Well, I mean, you're white? That means you must be from X, Y, or Z nation. Even though we range from a very, very wide amount of nations. Yes, my legs shall be shattered. Smush. Jesus, he just got fucking bitch smacked. God damn it, server restart. You would choose now. Squish. And that'll probably be what I could squeeze out. More slimes kills them for the XP. Don't even need the slime balls, there's so many of them. Squish, squish. Everything will be smushed. There we go. Fifty four, fifty six. There we go. There we go. Repair that up. And everything's back to repair. Good shit. Hey, Black Cap. We're just digging out what's left of the... Go. Shit. That tried to kill me. <laughs> Wouldn't have killed me. Or probably even gotten close, but still, it's annoying to deal with. Let's go up here, hit the bed. Well, that shall have no fried cockatoo. But if they're lucky, I'll share those sausages I stole from you. Speaking of which, I'm fucking kinda hungry. I should have a sandwich after this stream's over.
Oh, it's a frosty. It's banned. <laughs> Look at all the slimes. Come at me, ye bastards. Look at all these little- oh, never mind. It was quicker than I expected. It went off- wow. I thought it was supposed to go off at 320. Nope, it went off at 319. You got me there, game. You got me there. All those slimes, well, I didn't get the murder, will probably have despawned. Oh, nope, they're back. Hi, you little shits. Come on, get murdered. Squish, squish, squish. Out. Squish. Come on, you giant shithead. How many? Wow. Man, so much loot. Too bad they're not worth a lot of XP. Like, they're enough to keep my tools topped up, but that's only because I'm not burning through the tools. Holy shit, slime balls, though. At this point, I'm gonna have so many stacks of blocks. There we go. on that's almost done there we go even more iron that's an excellent thing to see fucking bedrock all right black cat see you in a little bit We must squish Frosty. He will be squished. There we go. Yeah, actually I'm glad to see the internet's holding up pretty well with two people playing on the same server and one of them live streaming from the same house is pretty dope. Doop doop. Doop doop. Everything gets looted. There's one baby slime all the way over there. He's not worth dealing with. Yeah, you got nowhere to hide, bitch. Oh, now the horde is grown. At this point, the slimes are just hordes. 
at this depth, they are quite literally just hordes. Come on! Get fucked, shitheads! Come on, one more giant one. Over here, come at me! Look at all these little shits. Aggro everyone. Yep. Punch the shit out of the big one. There we go. How many little ones can we spawn? The answer is a lot. There's so many it's starting to lag a bit. Squish, 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 squish. Everyone gets squished. Oh, that's a lot of slime. Oh good, and they just keep spawning more. That's just what I want. More assholes to murder. Come on. Can I go one fucking circuit without running into a swarm of you. Seriously, I have four stacks of slime. I actually started a fifth stack. This is getting goddamn ridiculous. That's going to be an issue in the subway station. Gonna have to fucking murder slimes. Oh well. I'm sure y'all can handle it. Dig, dig, dig. Not sure if it's even worth really digging out this layer. But I guess it'll get us one more usable layer's worth of material. So I'm not angry. But goddamn, have I burned through slime? Not burned, burned through inventory because of the slime. Damn, fuckers clogging up my shit. Oh well. There we go. Oh, dirt. Not particularly looking for dirt. Thank you very much, game. More slimes. Fucking hell. Because that's just what I need. You know what? If he wants to fuck off, he can fuck off. I don't particularly wish to deal with his bitch ass. So that simplifies that shit. Okay, make sure they're not dickhead silverfish. Game loves putting those all throughout this area. You know, I don't think the creators of Minecraft ever intended players to actually quarry that like this, though. To the point that they'll just run into a stupid amount of silverfish simply because they cleared out the entire area. And I find that hilarious. Alright, you little jumping shits. Stay here. I'm going to go grab some... Put some shit away. Mostly just fucking chunks of you. I 
God damn, though. That's a hell of a fall. Coal. A little bit more iron. No gold. And uh, no lapis. Let's see. Yeah, I got a bit of redstone. That definitely helps. Pretty much. That's pretty much what I've done. I just put the corpses in a box. Do 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 do. Yeah, we've got enough inventory space left. Just enough, but it's enough. Doop, doop, doop. I'm gonna need to make some more stone bricks. I think I've got some though. Just to uh, save me on time. I hope I have some so I can just get started instead of having the, you know. Grab that, plop that away. Now put this away. There's no more space left for this sheet. You know what I find funny is if I had the shulkers like I used to have them, those boxes, I, well, I would fill up a double, at least maybe a double chest of cobble, but not a double chest of anything else. Oh, look at all these assholes down there. Squish, squish, squish. Get smushed, you sticky bastards. Come on. I just keep killing more and more of them. Okay, how many is left? Not a lot. But it's enough to annoy me. Come on. Ah. Both of us missed. Get smushed, Spooder. And then, ex then explode out a baby. That's the appropriate response. Just panic shit a baby out. God damn it. Slimes can actually, if, you, if they get their momentum and just keep slamming you like that, they can kill you quickly. It's like being sat on by an American. Pretty much, it's like, no, I am not your senpai. There will be no magical anime girl adventures here. And if you try, you will be exploded. Actually, isn't there a mod that turns Minecraft into like a fucking monster dating sim? Or some weird shit like that. I feel like there is. And if so, I am... Well, more than slightly disappointed by the internet. Not surprised, just... It's never surprise, just disappointment. Oh, 
Come on. Get murdered. Fuck you. That critical was dope sounding. Come on. Come on, you little shits. There's just so goddamn many of you. I just keep killing them. And they just keep coming. This is gonna be such a pain in the ass in the subway. You'll have to legitimately watch out for slimes attempting to murder you. I should have foreseen seen that as an issue, but meh. It wouldn't have stopped me. I'm still going to do this either way. Dig quicker. Okay. Now then, grab that. I'm just gonna fill this in. Oh good, predator noises. That's just what I wanted to hear in my Minecraft adventure today. Being stalked by the predator. That would be fucking, that would be goddamn terrifying. Just let the fucking predator burst out from the cobblestone. Or out of the bedrock, like surprise, motherfucker. So God damn it, Arnold, you had one job and that was to kill this ugly son of a bitch. Though he did end up killing himself instead. Like a sore loser. Speaking of which, Predator, good fucking movie. Good time. You've probably seen it though, Raven. You like old horror action movies. Damn it. I don't want it. This hammer though is making good work of everything. Pathetic. Come on. Did you really expect that to work? Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Do you want to come at me as well? You giant sack of shit. Oh, you do. Lovely. Pretty much. What do you think these XP orbs are? They're the souls of the enemies being om nom nom nommed. Their souls are delicious. And power my arcane tools. A little bit of gold. Never gonna turn down free gold. Go 
fuck yourself, silver bitch. They get skull wished. There we go. Take out that. Take out this. Got that. There we go. Almost done with this lamp. Well, not particularly done, but most, eh, I'd say about up 30%. Yeah, probably about 30% done. Decent start. Out of my way, you fuck boy. Oh, you wanna go? Come on, out of my way. The other assholes will be spawning soon. Come on. Get murked. Get murked. You too. Yep, see what I tell you. They're starting to spawn now. Slimes. Well, at the very least, I'll have an unlimited supply of slime blocks. So that's a positive, I suppose. Okay, okay. Put up the iron, put up the gravel, yep, gravel away. Put up that, good. Some more gold, excellent. Redstone, even better. Coal, not bad, not bad supplies. I will do the 200 by 200 one of these days again. Especially with these hammers, that'll make cutting out that a lot quicker. Not insanely quick that it'll be done in a week or so, but it'll definitely get started. I think we're going to do that one in the desert, though. So we can get a bunch of sand and uh sandstone while we're there so we get the materials we need to start our coliseum we must make everyone fight for our amusement everyone shall f fight in the gladiatory arenas to their deaths it shall be amusing It's actually kind of cool to see this as I take off layer by layer what happens to it with the bedrock. See the height and color variation. If I really wanted to, I'd go all the way down the bedrock, like every brick. But honestly, at that point, there's just no point in doing so for a very small amount of profit. It's like the the time and effort I'd expend on it's just not worth dealing with. So I'll stick with this. But it's a good start. Okay, we're almost there. This layer needs to get finished. Oh, it's another strip done. It's almost done. Come on. 
Every one thing I really like about this system though is every layer you finish just makes the trip shorter and shorter each time. This feels like you're making more progress that way. Sucks for you, skeletons. There was no place for you to hide in the pit. There is no safe spaces in this server. Boop. Boop. Hey, at least this quarry. <laughs> so much loot. Come on. Are we gonna find any more diamonds? Now that would be nice, but I doubt it. At this layer, it's unlikely we're gonna find more. Just due to the bedrock that would be eating away at any veins found here. There we go. One thing I do like about this is the fact that the perimeter pretty much just shrinks by 12 on each pass. There we go. Oh, grab this. Come here, you giant shithead. Come on, get smushed. There we go. There we go again. Excellent. Hammers mostly repaired. Ah. Well then. There we go. Grab this up. Grab that up. Plop, 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 plop. That was not what I intended, but... Fuck it. Smush him. Shit, dude. Fuck, it was gaining on me. Man, those shits could be quick as hell. Puts us in a good spot. Oh, it's test stream. <sighs> oh man, this area fifty one shit that's been going is fucking funny. While I highly doubt it'll actually happen. If it does, I really hope one of them live streams it. Because I want to watch the massacre. I'm just like... If y'all try to storm a fucking... Highly... Classified base... You're just asking to get fucked. Like, damn, you people are stupid. Hilarious, but stupid.
Yeah, I'm all... It's like, it may be a bit dark, but I kind of hope it happens. Just because I want to see what happens. Like, they... Like, how they're like, they can't stop all of us. I'm like... Belt-fed weaponry and large amounts of explosives argue otherwise. Squish knocked you out of the sky. Mm, slightly repaired. Then again, it's only slightly damaged. So a slight repair is good enough. What do you think, Raven? Do you think it's gonna happen? It's like I highly doubt it will, but some part of me just wants to watch the bloodbath. That that would be pretty much just natural selection at work right there. It's like, ah yes, let's let's storm a heavily guarded uh, military compound. I'm sure that'll go work out for us. I mean, the issue there, Raven, is they have to get close enough with the guns to hit them. If I remember correct, Area 51 also maintains a pretty hefty sniper presence. It's like, so it's unlikely you'll be able to even get close enough to make good use of your firearms. Yeah, yeah, it'd be goddamn hilarious to see them try. As I said, natural selection at its finest. But they're not gonna win that fight. As, and I just hope if they did it, one of them manages to live stream it. But then again, someone would probably try to twist it as evil government uh, murders helpless civilians. It's like, well, those helpless civilians shouldn't have been trying to storm their way into a top secret classified facility. Now, should they? It's like, you fucks were breaking the law. You didn't listen to the warnings. And, well, you paid with, you paid the price for your ignorance. You gotta pay the piper somehow. Yep. They can and will use deadly force. Up to and including plenty of explosives. Hell, if you try to drive too close to fucking uh, Area 51, they'll send people out after you. If nothing else, then the fucking can uh, see what the fuck you're doing and the and uh, push you away from the base. It's like, and that's just if you go on one of the very few highways that are nearby to it.
Come on, you fucks. I don't give a fucks about you. Oh. There we go. Well, that's a lot. Oh, that thing was more damaged than I expected. Oh, salt chat now. Let me just deal with these fucks first. Pretty much, it's like, well, you tried to invade my quarry. I'm on. Squish. Though, in this case, though, they wouldn't even get anywhere near this close. Squish. Squish. Ooh, that was a four for one. That's how it would go. Pretty much just belt fed death. Only an idiot or a madman charges straight into fucking machine gun fire. And that's what's gonna happen. Also, not to mention that if it was to actually happen, considering the fact they made a giant Facebook event and shit, guess what? That would just mean the guards would already know you're coming and would be already on alert, ready to mow your ass down, too. It's like, so you don't even have the element of surprise on your side. It's like, so you just lost one of the most valuable elements for, you know, ambushing a secure base. So, yep, that goes. Any chance you could have ever had is definitely not gonna work. It's like, unless you literally force them to use every bullet, every bomb, every piece of equipment that's within Area 51, and still had enough of a f on force to fight your way in. much it's like even if you had enough people left guess what we are also trained in combatives that means if we have to we can get down and dirty and just fucking break your ass like a twig Plus, your morale isn't going to be very high after watching like 600,000 people get mowed down with machine guns and bombs. But goddamn would it be funny to watch. They just want those dummy thick aliens. That's all they want. Yeah. All it does is make you look fucking hilarious. Actually, 
it does provide one benefit, and that mean and that is you look even more hilarious when you get shot down. Cause then you fall down dead. Especially if you fall down dead with the Naruto pose still out. <laughs> Could you imagine a pile of just dead people all posed in the Naruto running pose? That'd be fucking hilarious. Piled up like V's. I'd be laughing my ass off. And I bet there's some people that would call me a sick bastard for that, for laughing, but I'm like, like this is natural selection. You all are stupid as shit. What's wrong with l laughing at people's stupid decisions in life? Yeah, <laughs> that too. Oh yeah, as they trip over- Hell, plus they're gonna start tripping over the fucking bodies. It's like... They'll be literally going over a, a wall of bodies. If that, if that many people showed up. Also make storming the gates a lot harder. Come on. Might make me a dick, but fuck it, I don't care. I'm very much a pro believer in you play stupid games, you win stupid prizes. Welcome back, Black Cap. We're talking about idiots thinking they can storm Area 51 and getting ripped to shreds. Yeah, pretty much that. There we go. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's it's most likely a joke. But if it does happen, it'll be fucking hilarious to watch the bodies pile up. It'll be like that wall of bodies in the movie 300. It'll be raining men once they get the, uh, the fucking air, uh, the aircraft involved. It's raining men, hallelujah. It's raining bodies. That's more done. Yeah, we're not gonna fill up another two double chests, though. We're getting close, but we're not gonna get to that level. 
Man, did we get pull a lot of resources out of this quarry, though. This will definitely be good for getting our build started. Do 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 do. Don't know why I'm humming the Mission Impossible theme, but why not? You know, I don't think I've ever actually seen those movies in their entirety. Squish! I won't fuck all y'all. Squish, squish! Squish, squish, and squish. Come on. You're next, little guy. There we go. There we go. The little ones shall be squished. Out of stone bricks now I think about it I think I used them all up uh... yep we're at bedrock this black shit's bedrock it's why I'm jumping up and over the shit look at that pit I don't, I couldn't tell you, like, hours worth, but it, it, it's definitely been probably a good at least 30, 40 hours. Well, maybe not that much, but it's, it's been a project, that's for sure. Do, 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 do. Squish. Oh yeah, definitely more than a handful of streams. Plus a lot of time just spent off stream digging this out. It's quicker when you got two people, but it still takes a while. There we go. Dig all that out. Take that out. Good. Almost done. But yeah, now I can start the actual building process with this. First up is to start demolishing the staircase. Not too high, only a, f a few blocks of it currently. Just enough to get it out of the way for me to start the subway station. But still easy enough to reach. Come here, you. Fifteen fifty four. The only downside of this hammer, at least from a balance perspective, is the fact that it doesn't eat nine times the durability. So you you're just making nine times the progress for no additional cost. Do, 
other, unless you consider lag <laughs> as a cost factor. Okay. Let's take care of this. I have to run around, see what we can find. Yeah, one level on the level on top of bedrock is the level we'll be building on. So what level am I standing on? Five. Five is the level we'll be standing on. So it's so I don't have to deal with bedrock in the way of my building. There we go. Excellent. Look at all this loot. Almost. Almost up. Come on. Yeah, once this is done, we won't have to do it for quite a while. But I am going to end up starting another larger one, but it'll be quicker with, uh... It'll be quicker with these hammers. Especially if I make a shovel hammer. That'll be fucking destructive. core segment. Job done. And that is that. About goddamn time, but we got the quarry complete. Let's take a look at it from above before I start filling it with stone brick. God damn it. There we go. Come on all the way up. Now I start filling it with filling a uh, bottom layer with stone brick and start building a a subway station out of it. I'll start building the walls up with stone bricks. And I'll just start working on my design for that. See how many stick subway lines I can fit on each wall. Yeah, I think I didn't just dig the hole for nothing. It's gonna... Or just resources. It's gonna be used for something. Slime. Gold.
coal. And now we put this up. Actually, I probably want this cobble. But I don't think I've got much, if any, actual bricks around. All my bricks are at the summer home. And I don't particularly feel like teleporting out there. I mean, yeah. Those slimes are spawning naturally. It's called slime chunks. It's a natural system in game that uh, determines slime spawning underground. It's like, those are entirely natural slime spawns. The reason why we're seeing so many of them is because one, it's daylight, which means all, which means they could spawn, but other mobs can't spawn and take their place. And two, because they're in a wide open area, there's nothing physically restricting their spawning. So they're not being blocked off by caves or anything. But yeah, that's why if you find slimes underground at random, it's because one of the chunks in that cave is a slime chunk. They spawn around 20, 25 in depth. Not entirely certain the exact depth, but yeah. They spawn at a certain depth. And they can spawn anywhere in those slime chunks. So, if you make a large quarry or just any large enough room underground, you're likely to get one slime chunk at the very least. Or you can use mini maps that sh can show you where slime chunks are. I mean, I could make a slime grinder, but the issue there would be I'd have to determine which one of the chunks is actually the slime chunks. And I just don't feel like dealing with the slimes. It's like I could design one, but I just don't really feel like it. Plus, it's easy enough to murder the shit out of them. They die in one to two swings. Okay, so there is no stone bricks left there. Disappointing, but unsurprising. Yeah, you could most certainly make a slime grinder. That's, that's certainly a thing you could do. Grab that stone, we'll make that end up the good shit. That is not the good shit. There we go, 60 bricks, it's a start. It's not particularly great, but it's a start. Another 36 of them. That's also useful. Okay, we'll go over here. Okay, I think there's more up here. But we're just gonna have to get started on cooking them now. Luckily, that's what the kelp crematorium will come in, into play. But I can't use it too much because I've still gotta build up kelp. So I think I'll find whatever 
bricks I have excess around here. Make use of them. Oh god damn it, that's cobblestone. Not smooth not stone bricks. Alright. Yeah, I wanna get the floor started and maybe it's the walls today. Alright, nope, nope. Okay, there is indeed some stone bricks up here. Along with another stack of smooth stone. Excellent. Torches. Torches. No. Alright. Fuck are you all? Squish. Oh, those little bird legs are taking a beating today. Thank God for my feather falling, though. Feather falling and steak. It'll fix all your problems. At least if your problems involve broken legs. Doop, do doop. Yeah, let's see. That's let's take a check into the crematorium. That's a lot of kelp. Let's see how much coal's left. Decent amount. Did one of did I accidentally harvest? Yeah, okay, I've got to harvest more kelp, though. We're pretty much entirely out of kelp. We don't have enough for one more cook's worth. To give you the concept, e the, I have enough furnaces in there to cook an entire inventory's worth of uh, kelp in one go. So we use a lot of resources there. Okay. We need to cut up to there. And we'll be good. That'll be a good height to get to. Oh, damn it. Oh, I didn't expect that to work on stone bricks. Yeah, we want to get this built up now to this height. That's a hot, high enough height to not have to deal with bedrock. And we'll be good. Yeah, I don't think I've got enough stone bricks to even fill this in. I might have to teleport to my other place just to get the, the couple dozen stacks of bricks I have there. There we go. There we 
Yeah, then again, each wall is 50 long. So, yeah, that's using a lot. There we go. We've almost got this, though. That's the perimeter done. The perimeter layer is built. Now it will get sh smaller and smaller as I build inwards, but yeah, it's gonna take a bit. Okay. I'm tired. Any more torches in here? God damn it. I suppose that's the issue with having hammers. <laughs> I'm gonna just take this off my hot bar. I thought I saw some sticks. Where is Moin Sticks? I was looking for sticks to make more uh, torches. I'll just turn these useless planks into torches. Because no one likes plain old oak. Well, it's alright. It's just. There's better materials to build with. Okay, let's get down here. Dun, 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 dun. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. One, two, Eh, fuck it, I'll work on tor- No, I need to work on torch place it, fuck it. Two. Three. Four. Five. Blop. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Blop. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Blop. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, blop. One, two, three, four, five, blop. One, two, three, four, five, blop. Two, three, four. There we go. God damn it, it's like one off. Got the Cause it's fifty long. Eh, fuck it. I can deal with it later. Just 
place down what we've got for today. We'll work on building it some sort of symmetry later. One more side. Good. Slowly but surely building back up. what to do with the other levels because there's only going to be three floors worth of subways which is so but the there'll be plenty of space for uh, ideas later Obviously not gonna be like that other subway station I built on the old server. Cause that was a that was meant to be a fancier build. But we we aren't going public, at least not for a long ass time, so it doesn't need to be anywhere near that elaborate. If we ever go public. I kind of like being a private server. We've got plenty of players and it's nice and chill. That's how I like to keep it. Come on, there we go. Do like that, just do 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 do. Yeah, it wouldn't really be that effective though. Like it would just torch everything. At that point, that just torch overkill. It'd be just kind of annoying to look at. <laughs> uh, actually, you know. No, redstone lamps. Wait, redstone lamps in the floor wouldn't work. But in the ceiling. If I did redstone in the ceiling, that might work. Yeah, that, that might be a good idea. Got myself an idea now. And this is coming along. Slowly but surely finishing it up. We've got enough to maybe finish another side and a half. Well, another strip and a half, but it's it's okay. Much like hollowing it out, every every strip in the circle makes the trip shorter each time. Though not to the degree that it was at hollowing out. How do I want to build this? Okay then. If this is 50 wide, I'm gonna need to plan out how I want to build the uh, other shit. Oh, hello slime. Enjoy your stay in hell, dick. A 
slowly but surely. I think I'll build on one of the floors like a processing station for, uh, for, uh, just resources. Iron, coal, whatever. Whatever raw materials that need to be taken care of. Almost, almost out of inventory. Come on. Three bricks left. Boop, boop, boop. Okay. Well, we're off to a good start. But we're out of resources now. It's time to start a cooking. Actually, you know what? I can do something else. I've got what I can do. Uh, where's the media channel? Okay, slash TP. Well, first up, I should probably, probably get the coordinates for here written down. Not, I got five, nine, six, seven, five, negative, negative one oh eight. Now then, let's TP core to this location, nine twelve. One four six one three one five. There we go. Now we're in our summer home. Well, that's useful to have. Why those are not just squished together, I don't know. That say Kitty's Lair. It does say Kitty's Lair. Hello, Llama. You live here now. Not this one. Ah, uh, here it is. There's somewhat less than I was expecting. Could be more. Okay, there is a bit more. There's definitely a bit more. Uh, do I have anything in here? A furnace. Not what I'm looking for. Resource room has iron, gold, diamonds, lapis. Not what I'm looking for, though. Oh, hey, kitty's golems are here still. That's cool. They didn't get poofed out of existence like many other things did. Okay. TP core, negative five, nine, six, seven, five, negative one, oh, eight. There we go.
More stone bricks. It's certainly a good start. Grab what remained there. I built a, a decent amount of bricks up just because I was hollowing out that mountain. Still am. I need to build a subway to that place so I could stop teleporting there. Do do. Come on, get this taken care of. Oh, giant slime again. Fuck right on off, giant slime. Well, this will definitely get us a couple more sides worth, a couple more strips added. Definitely making progress. Yeah, that's one thing you have to remember with mega projects like this. It's you just have to keep focused on incremental progress because it's not going to be something that's done quickly or easily. But it is satisfying when it gets done and it's like, fuck yeah, that looks dope. Or fuck yeah, that thing is really helpful. There we go. How many strips are left? I do not know. Let's see, if each side has four taken off of it, that's four, eight, twelve. That's sixteen out of fifty. Yeah, it's getting that. It's getting that. Doop. There we go. Wish. How much is left? Eh, they could use a very slight repair. Like the most incremental of it repairs. Oh, that guy ceased to exist. Sucks to be him, I suppose. Okay, then. Okay, so this will put it up to 17 off of each side. Then the 18. So on and so forth. Okay. I'm on. I just want to get pretty much what I have in my inventory taken care of before I hop off today. Much quicker actually to do it this way. I think technically some spiders could theoretically spawn under here but I really don't give a shit. They're just spiders. I don't know what they're gonna do, make hissing noises through the wall. Oh no. Well, I guess in this case, through the floor. Come on. Slowly but surely, it's almost done. Each side is getting shorter and quicker, requiring less and less of a stack each go. Place, place, place. Dig. Hmm. 
Not dig. Oh well, who cares? It's almost done. That's another strip almost knocked out. Ah, oh, hello you. I thought one of you'd be creeping up on me soon. Just was a matter of time. Alright. Now I'll knock out another strip. Yep, good shit. Let's grab that block. And bam. Damn it, you fucking cunt. Okay, then come on. How much is left? It's getting shorter, though. Come on, come on, let's play. Now, pushing this one in will be interesting. How do I want to do that, though? There we go. Oh, so tired. Trying to get my sleep schedule shifted back to third shift. I, I, it's just taking a little bit. Managed to get up to about 6 a.m., 7 a.m. yesterday. But the issue is I woke up at fucking 11 uh, a.m. So I was like, oh yes. You're going to work off of four hours of sleep today. Thank you, life. Just thanks. It's what I always wanted. Oh well, not like I'm not used to it. It's pretty much what I did in the army. Just fucking always worked off of a limited sleep just because I couldn't sleep a lot. I could ne I was never one of those people that could that could sleep a lot. So I usually just wake up, try to get shit done. But oh well. Ooh, that's that's hunger right there. My roommate better watch out, or he's gonna be destroyed. Just om nom nom nom. Sustenance. Do 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 do. Will this be enough to make this one side? Maybe. Hey, it is. All right. With our inventory running out of stone, this is why I'm gonna wrap up. I hope you all had a good one. I'll see you tomorrow. Peace out.